So here we are, spring of 2022, and my kids have finished their assembly line challenge. Now for the assembly line challenge, each group was tasked to manufacture this thing right here, which is called the Fladoodle. <laughs> it's a fictional product that we're making, and what we're going to do is saw and drill and paint and move this thing from one side of the assembly line to the other. In each group, there are 11 groups here, we're charged with each individual piece of the process. So some of them had to cut, some of them had to drill, some of them had to paint, <laughs> uh, but all of them were here to have fun. So let's look at all of the modules that are here as we go up and down the line here. So let's start with the first one right here, which is the arm church. <laughs> so this is a an arm that is made to put the fludoodle. So you put the fludoodle in this area right there. It grabs it and it moves it. And you can see we got the mini pigs there. Uh, the, the church part is interesting. Then it moves on to the next one, which is some saws, right? Which looks like this. You can see the mini pigs in there, right? They have a little control room and some saws. This is made to cut the top of the fludoodle right there. This one over here, the next one we have, another control panel in there, little guy in there. Looks like we got Emmett in there. This one is made to cut the sides of it. You can see they got those little saws in there and make sure that this works well. All right, and then we come over here to the next one. This is one of my favorites. It's got a pneumatic process. The pneumatic is used to bring up and down the cutting arm, which is right there. You can see the guy's got some championship trophies in there, right? Uh, but this one is really cool. You can see it's got a pump that's actually pumping right now. And you can see it's got a gauge that's telling you how much is in there, right? Then the next one goes over here, right? With a cutting tool on the side to cut a knot in the side of the fluido. And you can see in there, we got a little control uh, room. Then we come over to this one right here. This one is supposed to cut a notch in the top. Got lots of extras. We got a control room here. We got a control room there. Right? Complicated process to cut that little notch. But that's what it looks like there. Then we come over to this one right here. This one is made to cut kind of a wide notch. And you can see on the sides, it's got a, a lifting bar there, right? So a gear rack that kind of lifts everything up to the top and brings it down. Uh, and we've got kind of a nautical theme, I guess, <laughs> which is interesting. I love it, All right? But there's that one. Then the next one comes over here. This one is made to drill in the back. This actually turned out to be one of the harder ones to do because of the idea that we have to get it at the right level in order to make this happen. We've got our control room over there. All right. You'll see how that works when we get there, but it drills the back. Then we get to the next one, which is drilling a hole into the sides. So you can see we've got people all over the place in this one. We've got our control room over there. Right. This one is interesting because it drills into the side and it's got a little funnel there to make sure that it gets into the right place. Right. Then we come over to this one. There's our control room. You can see this one here is a drilling process as well, but on the left hand side and it's got a cool area inside there, right? Oh, this one's the origin story of Batman. Or no, I mean, <laughs> this is the origin story of Spider-Man and Captain America. <laughs> they have day jobs. Then we go over here to the painting area, right? So we've got a little painting area right there. So it's going to be painting and then also drying when we get to the end there. And then it ends up putting it in for packaging at the end. And we've got a little control room there, but it's more like a jail. Like they, they made a jail. We don't know why they made a jail, but they did. <laughs> all right, let me make sure that all of these are working. We get it all going here. Put this in there. We're all good. Let me make sure this one is going. Everything seems to be going. All right, let's take the fladoodle. Right? Let's take the fladoodle, put it in there, and see what happens. Can we make it through? Nice. Picking it up. 
Very nice. Putting it down. Ooh, that was perfect. Awesome. That, that little arm there, just in case it doesn't. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, it cuts. So we through to the next one. Next one cuts the sides. Very nice. Comes over here. This is the pneumatic one. Comes up to it. It cuts down. It's got a motor to actuate the switch. It's got to do both sides. So again, very complicated model. Sets it over to the other side. Cuts again. Very nice. The next one goes into the slot. Okay. A beautiful lock right there, very nice. Excellent. Looks like we're having a problem here. Let's get it going. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cutting through it. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Very nice. Squeeze it up. This is the one I was talking about. You might notice that you're hearing some sounds also. Go ahead and add some graphics and some sounds to each of these. Awesome. And this one over here, I gotta go from the top here. Look, it went through. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's see if that can. Oh, there we go. Swings it in. Goes to drill it. Drills a hole. Sends it on its way. Okay. It looks like this one stopped. It's not a problem. Look, oh, it's this. It's always this on that one. All right, very nice. Drills it in. Excellent. All right, let me go to the next one, which we've had some trouble with this one today. Let's see if it works. It does, yes. Beautiful painting. You can hear the painting. Dry. Dry the paint. And off for delivery. Just an awesome model. These are made by my seventh and eighth graders at Shadow Hills Engineering and Design Magnet Academy. We've been working on this for probably about a month to get this going. Just a wonderful culminating project for the Palmdale School District.